So remember yesterday I was talking about the leaked Rockstar game on Amazon for the PS5 and we were thinking how that could maybe tie in with the PS5 reveal? Well, we were thinking maybe Rockstar could possibly announce something here and that is what happened. Coming 2021 for PlayStation 5. So the PS5 reveal got off to a strong start, close to the start of the PS5 reveal we actually saw this. Black screen with the Rockstar Games logo. That's what we all want to see. We want to see Rockstar Games. What are they bringing to us? Now what followed the Rockstar Games logo was the GTA 5 trailer and people are still thinking, okay, yeah, this might tie in nicely with the next game. They might go, okay, here's the old game. Now we're going to move on to the next game, GTA 6. But no, that's not what they did. It was just GTA 5 again. That's not a joke. They are actually re-releasing GTA 5 again for the PS5. This would be the fourth time now. Now, I kind of saw this one coming. I wasn't really convinced that it would be a new game. I know I did kind of joke about it in the last video, but I did say it was most likely maybe going to be a re-release, but I did say Red Dead Redemption 2. I wasn't really too sure about a re-release for GTA 5. But here we are, we've got a re-release for GTA 5 on PlayStation 5 coming 2021. I know some people are disappointed, I know some people are thinking, oh this could be GTA 6 and they were really looking forward to it and then the disappointment set in once they saw it was GTA 5 again. But yeah, we're just gonna have to see how this goes. One thing I want to point out is it does say expanded and enhanced. Now, of course, enhanced would be better graphics and stuff like that, so the game runs better and looks better on the new console, but expanded. So let's just see what kind of expansions they've got here. It could be really interesting to see what they do with this game on the PS5, because I think they would have to make it interesting to keep it nice and fresh for everybody. We'll just have to wait and see what Rockstar does, but I also just want to point out it does actually say there will be a new standalone version of GTA Online available for free exclusively for PlayStation 5 players during the first three months once it's out on the PS5. It also says additional GTA Online content exclusive to next gen consoles so it looks like once this version of GTA 5 and GTA Online comes out all of the new updates will be exclusive to the new consoles. They did a similar thing when they jumped from old gen to the current gen consoles, but I believe the old gen consoles actually still got some of the updates for a little while and then they stopped, but it looks like they're just stopping them instantly now and that's it, all the new updates will be on the next gen consoles. Now there is just one last thing I want to point out here that is pretty cool. Starting today, PlayStation Plus members on the PS4 will get $1 million each month until the launch of GTA Online on the PS5. So the PS5 version of GTA 5 Online is coming out a little bit later into 2021, so that's still a little bit away from now, so we've still got quite a bit of time and we'll be getting $1 million every single month if you play on PS4 and you have PlayStation Plus, you'll be getting a million dollars each month until GTA Online comes out on PS5. That is pretty cool. It's unfortunate that that's only for PlayStation, it's not for Xbox and PC, but it is still pretty cool anyway. But that is pretty much it, this is what Rockstar did. Some of you might be disappointed that it is GTA 5 again. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Did you think it would be a new game or were you expecting a re-release or were you just expecting nothing? Definitely let me know in the comments what you think about this GTA 5 re-release. But anyway, I just wanted to keep you updated right here. I hope you did enjoy this video and if you did enjoy it or if this was informative in any way, then please drop a like down below and also subscribe with post notifications turned on so you don't miss any of my future videos. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.